Hi right, YouTube, it is Saturday, September 12th, and I just realized it's been nearly a year since I've done any videos on this Power Stroke. For I think I gave a couple of quick updates, and basically that's all that is. But I just letting those who followed this project know that I am still have still been plugging away at it a little bit at a time. And angels are underneath the truck bed hanging from the engine stand, which is kind of dangerous which could just fall on the truck if anything happened. It's not going to fall. It's secured good. But just letting you know what I'm doing, as you can see, I'm putting it back on the truck. Um, I think the last video I made was I was working on this front panel, and I've finally got it straightened up. As you can see, it's uh, completely <laughs> skimmed over with body filler, the uh, Dyna glass, and and I used a lightweight just to fix some small pits and stuff like that in low areas. Inside panel is completely covered. Uh, I told you that. I don't necessarily like that. I mentioned that before. I wish I'd have used the panel off my other bed, but I didn't. It's done. I got so far into it, I had to. I just felt like I should go ahead and finish it since I already had the time in it. Uh, hopefully it won't all crack out. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We will see. But like I said, I don't really plan on abusing this truck. I will work it, haul some stuff, anything that could damage the bed, like rock and possibly even firewood and stuff. I will probably just use my trailer if possible. Or throw my bed liner in it and be careful. Uh, if anyone helps, let them know. Do not throw it in there, stuff like that, so it won't dent the bed. But anyway, I'm lowering it back on there so that I can start working on the floor again to get it good and flat. As you can see, I've had to use body filler. But um, I started to uh, work on the bottom while it was sitting on the jack stands, and I realized if you don't bolt it down to the frame like it's supposed to be, that um, the floor will bend on you a little bit. So I need to bolt it down like it's going to be, because if I were to make it perfectly flat, sitting on jack stands, one on each corner, uh, it would move on me when I bolted it down to the truck, meaning Let's just say it's warped right here. If it's sitting on jack stands, you may bolt it on the truck and it'll flatten out. And if you straighten that out before you put it on the truck bed, well, then it's going to be off. Which it doesn't have to be perfect. I I said it before. I've I've really spent more time than I should have on the front panel that won't be showing. There's a stink bug. Hopefully it's dead on the front panel and this floor. It's going to be covered in bed liner too. But I want it. I want it to look good. I should have, I need to get all the dents. A lot of little tiny dents I want out of it. But um, I guess this will be a super quick video. I'll probably go ahead and put it down on here and find my boats. and Show you how it looks. I think you've already seen it before with the bed on it. But Hang on, I'll pause the camera. Alright, I'm finally back a few hours later. Got the bed on it. Boat snug down. Everything lined up pretty good. It worked out pretty close to the way it was. I think last year I had the bed on this. And let's see, was it this? No, it was the, the other side. That boat right there. There is a washer about, I think, a little bit thicker than an eighth inch between the bed brace and the frame. That lines up these body lines on the other side. Oops, have a little focusing trouble, and I fixed another issue. I saved myself a lot of work, and it's going to make it. It's going to make that bed look a lot flatter, which is, like I said, I've, I've been kind of nitpicking at that. Don't pay attention to this messy bondo spreading job here. I just use leftover body filler whenever I mixed up too much. I know it's not the easiest way to spread a dent and block it down, but like I said, don't pay attention to it. I'd rather do that than waste body filler. But um, the issue I had, this side wasn't too bad. I guess I'll get to that first. As you can see right there, it's, it's a little bit slightly lower there, but they're not going to be perfect. The issue I had over here, which is not like that anymore, as you can see, it's actually touching there and a little bit low. It's but more than good enough. See how there's a little bit of a gap there? That's not bad now. See, I'm rocking a little bit. But it was uh, a lot more. It was like, um, I mean, there's probably about a 3 16 gap. If you lay that straight edge on here like I got, there's a 3 16 gap at, the, at this point. And 
right here it was like that and and it would progressively get less or get better as I worked my way towards the middle and this side was pretty much fine what I ended up doing as you can see I got my jack stand on my little motorcycle jack here I just put it up under here loosen this bolt which is this one right here and I jacked it up kind of high to where I kind of twisted the bed and I also put a pretty thick washer can't really see it between the bed brace and the frame it's it's like a big old one inch or three quarter diameter ID diameter washer which is um, probably about three sixteenths thick and then when I, when I drawed it down that made this a lot better like I said not perfect but none of they probably weren't brand new but a lot better than it was I have a significant bend down this way at the tail and it probably wouldn't even have been noticeable once everything was covered in a bed liner but uh, I just wanted it good and flat so when I go to take this bed back off which I will have to do after I finish my body work I will have to do that after I'm going to take it off once I finish my body work get it on primer then I'm going to have to flip it and we're going to paint the underside of it that's partially painted but as you can see under there and really with the bed on it the underside of the truck still looking pretty good under here a little dirty I need to clean it but once I get all that painted that's going to look good underneath and just having the bed on the truck kind of lets you know how good that's going to look once it's all done go have that nicely freshly painted frame that will hopefully stay shiny with the poor 15 paint but um when I go to take this off I need to keep track of my washers and bolts this time knowing what goes where just leave them in the hose but um it lines up pretty good I don't see any it doesn't look like there's any twist to it you get behind a lot of these trucks that are not really so old and uh, you'll see a twist to them especially if they hit a lot of heavy loads and that's usually the bed brace collapsing or rusting or both but it looks like we got it pretty much squared up with the cab and if you're not sure what I'm talking about with the twisting just take a look at an old 66 it's definitely got some twist or sag see how the driver's side is lower uh, that's what I'm talking about you see a lot of trucks that are old and not so old but just been worked hard and um, they'll look like that but um, I guess before I end the video I'm going to loosen up my tailpipe and hopefully I can spin it around because you can see it's way too low and looks kind of goofy don't really have to do that now but I guess I'll go ahead and do it and um, I'll show you what that looks like all right, we've got the exhaust pipe straightened up like I said it would. Pretty easy, just loosened up the hanger clamp on the tailpipe. And this clamp where it clamps it to the muffler, right there. And I just stuck a little 2x4 in there and right in here and pulled it up. Yes, 2x4 will go in that. 4 inch pipe. But uh, that fixed that. I did find another issue I'm going to have to fix later on. You see that blue fuel line up there? Yeah, see how the, uh, I don't know how much force, well, let's see, can you see that or not? Yeah, there we go. I don't know how much force that is pushing down on that fuel line, but that's got to be fixed. And um, if you remember, I can't remember which line it was. I think it was that one, the blue one. If you remember, I had to repair that uh, sending unit assembly because I couldn't find I couldn't find one at all for the rear uh, and the one up front was like three hundred eighty nine dollars and if I found if I ever did find one for the rear it'd be just as high if not more but what I'm thinking about doing I'll just take a uh, white paint marker and mark around that line on the actual brace and after the bed comes back off I don't think it's gonna hurt anything right now it's kinda flexible it's hitting the flexible part of the line but I don't want it pushing down on that after I get it all together permanently but um like I said I'll just scribe a scratch a take a white marker I'm stuttering here take a white marker and mark around where it's hitting and I'll just cut it notch it and weld some metal back in it after I get the bed back off this bed's gonna stay on here for a little while until I can go ahead and uh, get all these uh, dents fixed and make sure the bottom is flat 
And uh, I don't think I'm going to have to use a lot of body filler to actually level it all up now, see, except for maybe where I'd put my patch panel. If you remember, I welded a patch panel. Like, if you can follow the end of this straight edge, like that whole area right there. And um, it's in there pretty decent, not perfect, and going to have to put a skin in there. And um, a lot of you might not like the idea of that being in the bottom of a bed, but like I said, this truck is mostly for hauling the trailer. Uh, it will be worked some, but it will be protected with a bed liner coating. And I do have a plastic bed liner I can toss in it. And if I want to put in something that may be kind of damaging to that bottom, I can cut me out a big thick piece of plywood to lay in there for such jobs. But anyway, uh, sorry it's been so long for those of you who have been following this project, but it's just been one thing after another getting in the way. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you that know how that can go sometimes, but um, just wanted to uh, do some kind of a video on this because I have been doing uh, some work to it, mostly working on that front panel that has been a thorn on my side, but uh, I don't like the idea that it's covered in body filler, but at least I got the basic shape back in and it's not looking too bad. Once I get some primer on it, I can get it a lot closer than it'll probably have to be. And... Uh, Hopefully things will start moving quicker after we get all these tiny little dents in these in this bed fixed. Got a few on I don't have many dents on the side. The wheel tubs are already pretty much um, straightened out. Just need primered and block sanded back down and find all the little imperfections. We gotta do fix all these little dents here. And a good thing about having the uh bed on the truck to fix those is I can kind of use those as a guide so that I know I'm blending in with the cab. Everything I do, for if I have to do any body line work, which it don't look like I have to. Well, just kind of, we know it looks right compared to when it's next to the cab. Got a little, there's that little rust hole I fixed there a long time ago. It's been inside so it's not rusting. And got this big old dent. Got the block down. This right here. A lot of dents in this bed, but it was rust free. Pretty close to rust free. A lot better than the one I had. Anyway, tailpipe looks a lot better. Not hanging down all low and goofy looking like it was. Alright, well, enough yapping. I'm going to try to get a little bit more body work done tonight. And um, if I make some progress, or not if, but when I make some progress, I'm not sure how much I'm going to make and how long it's going to take me. But um, I'll keep you updated, and hopefully we can get some Power Stroke videos rolling along. And I'm looking very forward to being done with the body work and start laying some color on this thing. And, uh, oh yeah, be, once I get this bed in primer, uh, before I block it down, I will let that primer cure for about three weeks. And while that, during that three weeks, um, we're going to have to fix the leak in this engine. I've come to the conclusion... It's not coming from up top, like a few commented that it, that's the only place they ever leak. They, the rear main never leaks. I don't think my rear main le is leaking. I think my oil pan is leaking because um, I made sure my valley was dry and I stuffed a rag down in there in the drain hole just to make sure anything isn't coming out of there and I still have a leak after it runs for a while. And I think it's the actual pan, which means I will have to pull the engine. Uh, I've read a lot about it. A lot of guys have tried a lot of goofy stuff to um, avoid that, but I don't see any other way around it. Some guys actually talked about cutting across my well near back. I'm not going to do that. I will, it would be easier to pull the engine to do all that work. But anyway, enough yapping. We're going to get some body work done, and hopefully we can start laying some color on this truck by this winter time. Thanks for watching. Okay, thought this video was over. Angel's got something over here. Let's see what it is. She might be just after a mole, but she's kind of acting like it's something above ground. What do you got? Huh? What do you got? What is that? I see a stick. What is it? I don't see. I hear something complaining. 
What is it? Is it a mouse? Yep, yeah, she got a mouse. It's right there, Angel. You done lost it. It's right under your feet. There you go. <laughs> or is it a little mole? Might be a baby mole. Can't tell. Ah, is it biting her? Angel, you're being mean to it. <laughs> Listen to that thing. You're going to mulch the whole yard up, girl. Did he get away? Ah, it's still in there. Listen to it. <laughs> That's a mole. Little baby mole. Okay, I'll leave you to have fun. I'm not going to... I'm not going to videotake the graphic ending to this little adventure right here. <laughs>